of the pregame homestand here with head coach Lene Larson and Jasmine Gwynn. Uh, coach, we'll start with you. Um, just talk a little bit about uh, what you saw from the team today and especially kind of how they changed um, their mentality in the second half. Um, you know, obviously first half as a coach, I was extremely disappointed. Um, you know, that wasn't us. We didn't play hard. We didn't play smart. Um, we didn't do anything that we had talked about going into the game. And so I felt like we kind of coasted through that first half and, you know, it took for granted. We talked about at halftime, like taking for granted, putting on a uniform and being able to play and that not everybody gets this opportunity and how special this team could be, you know, if they just played up to their potential. So I thought second half, you know, we didn't shoot the ball particularly well today, but second half we controlled the things we could control, defense and rebounding. Um, you know, I thought Jasmine, she always does a great job on the boards, um, and she had a lot of hustle plays, and that's what we're really looking for. She gives us a spark. Um, you know, and then Crystal, between her and Crystal, they both had 30 rebounds. So that was huge. You know, we obviously out-rebounded them by a lot. We definitely going into Saturday have to have more consistent effort, and that's something that we've talked about this season this you know, we're a young, immature team, and, you know, it's the end of January, and so we're running out of time, you know, as far as growing. First half, we took a couple steps back, and second half, we finally showed what kind of team we could be. Um, obviously, it can be better. And uh, Jasmine, so you finished with uh, 12 points, 12 rebounds, 5 assists. So 12 of those rebounds, part of the 67, which was third all-time in program history. Um, but what do you, what did you feel like in the second half, kind of was working for you guys that was different from the first half. You were on the court, obviously. Um, we went into the locker room kind of disappointed with how we were playing. So second half, we just focused on picking up the energy and controlling the things we could control, like rebounding and defense. And so we forced a lot more turnovers, and our energy was just a lot higher than the first half. All right, and uh, just finally about uh, finishing, finishing out this homestand, you guys scored 101 against BYU Hawaii last time in Hawaii. Um, keys to kind of keeping that going? Uh, you know, for me, it's not about scoring for us. I don't think that we're going to have a problem putting points on the board. For me, it starts with defense and rebounding, and our offense feeds off of that. When we get stagnant offensively, it means we're stagnant on the defensive end. So we're going to continue to stress defense and rebounding uh, because that feeds into our offense. For me, it's not how many points we put on the board. It's the margin of victory. And so, you know, hopefully we can have – the same outcome that we had last time. It's a better BYU-Hawaii team. They've improved a lot. You know, we've watched a lot of film on them. And so, you know, I just look forward to seeing how this team's going to bounce back on Saturday. Uh, you know, we always want to play well at home, and we definitely have to have a better showing.